Oh, we've seen the Marcos arrive. And now we're going to have a look at some of the things that need fixing on it. And one of the things we're going to be looking at is the steering and how things aren't exactly the same as they are on most other cars. This should be good. As the wheel had already been stripped off before I'd arrived, we could get straight to work and setting up and filming as the procedure went on. Right, well, steering might be a good idea. Go. It'd be a lot easier if it was just a ball there, wouldn't it? Oh, I think so, yeah. I can't understand why they didn't do all that. Mm, you think it'd be something you can good. retrofit? Right, well that's gonna... Yeah, if the tape is there we could do it. It's just a case of making a new one of them at Andrews, yeah. not Lave, and putting the same thread as the... In fact I might have one in that box over there. From doing Spitfire. Could do with some more light round here. Mm. You'll, vi uh, you'll video videoing all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bleep anything out. Slip <coughs> some light on it and then you can see. Understand is they've done this, which is kind of an industrial, like you said, an industrial design on this. Yet the GT had chat red ends, yeah, in a standard ball joint. So I, I don't see the logic in doing this. They've probably done it to try and get clearance on that, yeah. It is a bit narrow, isn't it? Yeah, but well, there's more room there than you think. Right, I've got it. Right, I'm going to even put a washer under there. Mm. So where's the play? <coughs> well, I was definitely playing it. Mm. You've got to move the wheel. Right, let's see how good engineering this really is. Great, that's going round. Um, I'm going to put it back in to loosen that off now. Right. We didn't put any flats on it, did they? Of course not. Sort of thing when they have no idea about engineering. This needs to go up and on. There you go. Right, I'm going to try and ram it against the stone screw mm, didn't work well. Do you want me to get that one? Uh, can if you want. Ah. Try and find an old. I can see this one straight away. No, this one could clean. It's fairly clean down there. Ah. Uh, 
a big spun and job. I sort of jump up. Yeah. You know. That's that weight. You can grab all the advice if you need to pull yourself up. That's all right. Yeah. Right, I'm in. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if this will do it. Right. I'll keep hold of it this time. Don't have to close up at tools. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, Baker. Yeah, that's quite an old one. Made in Sweden. It's good though. See, I that have one of them. It's a very nice somewhere. adjustable spanner. Shame the SD1 wasn't, not the SD1, sorry the center fire wasn't so cooperative a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no. Right, we've got to try and... Right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Fifteen. Sixteen. That's sixteen and a bit. Yeah. I'll leave that where it is. And that is where is that the piece where the play is? Probably isn't it? I'll just bump two light spaces in there. I'll have to put that lathe and try uh, it, vice and try and get it out. Yeah, it's definitely not playing it. You can see that. Play in there. Yeah. I mean, what looks like a little bit of play actually mm. makes a hell of a lot of difference, doesn't it? Well, it does, yeah, that's right. Right, has it, has it been drilled out or has it got a taper on? That's the thing. That's been drilled out, mm. there's no taper on that. And then the other thing is. The other thing, you can just pop that down, you can feel it's. Smooth. Really, that, that shank should have been further down there so it went into that, I know. Yeah. So I'm guessing there might be M12 metric fine thread. See if I can get them washers to come off the knees. But it gives you a quick indication of what's what. Right, we can see it like, looks like 12. There's a little bit of play in it, I know. Looks like 12 that. Internal diameter. Right, what's that one? It's looking like 12 and all. I think that's metric fine thread. Mate. Mind you, the, the actual play is in. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Rather than. Uh, I can feel it, can't you? Yep. Right. Next was to try a ball joint from the old Spitfire to see if that would actually fit in and replace the rose joints. It would actually fit, wouldn't it? It would. I'll certainly drilled that bugger out, so that's out of question now. And the other way of doing it is to replace them arms. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, I think they've definitely drilled it. Where's that bolt that came out? No. No, uh, that's not to it here. Yeah. Oh, the bolt is that still up there? Uh, yeah, probably is. Uh, yeah, it's still in the vice. Yeah, yeah, they've definitely drilled it out. Right. Yep. Well, that's uh, it's gonna have to be spherical joints again. So I'll order two of them off eBay. Of One for each side. Yep. It's always best to do both. Shame. It'd probably be a good little project to retrofit it. Hmm. Well, be, it won't be that hard to uh, to make them fit to that. Yeah. And then it's just a case of buying a couple of arms, which they shouldn't be too much money. It might be you know, twenty pound for a pair or something like that. Second hand. Mm. And that definitely fit in there. We are, and it's still clear vented disc. See, oh, yeah. tons of room. Don't make it. Don't make any sense why no, they use the don't. rose joint. No, that's not left hand thread, is it? Tell. It looks like a normal thread. I can understand that if they just, you know, put a mm. uh, right hand thread at this end and a left hand thread at that end, and then just go like that and then lock nuts up. Yeah, it would be better with them on. <coughs> but for now. We're going to have to just Make stick with what we've got. Yeah. Might be something worth looking into later on, I don't know. Gary had done the rest of the car earlier in the week, so this was the only part of the car that hadn't been waxed and polished. So now that the bonnet was down, this was a good opportunity to do it. Just a shame about that. Mm. Do you know what colour paint it is? Uh, no. While you can clearly see that the car is red, we'd ideally need to know the manufacturer who originally created the paint and the paint code so that any touch-ups could be ideally matched in future, as there were a few blemishes that needed looking at. We decided to find the main plate on the car to get the chassis number and hopefully the colour coding. As for the colour code, it just said red. I think we'd already guessed that one. Don't forget to come back and visit us to see more of what's going on with this Marcos. And remember, some of these videos are exclusive to Patreon. We are available on YouTube, of course, and on Twitter, Facebook, and we have our website. All the links for that are down below and are in the general description as well. Take care. See you soon.